to license it. Meep, meep. Everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers. I'm Andrew, and on the bench today is a small collection of nine recently acquired classic cars from an eBay haul. I'm showing them to you today because you might be interested in some of the unique manufacturers that are common here in Europe, but maybe not so much where you're watching from. Minichamps is a German manufacturer and this is their rendition of the very beautiful Carmen Ghia 1200. American industrial designer Walter Dorwin Teague included this car in his list of the world's most beautifully designed products. I agree. The Province Moulage Company originally featured hand-built 1 to 43 scale resin kits often show cars or concept cars. They're based in France. Companies now owned by Norev. And this is the Alfa Romeo Giulietta Sprint Speciale, also known as the SS, built by Alfa Romeo from 59 to 66. If you like this kind of video, you need to go right over to David's channel called the worst YouTube channel ever where he displays his collection of cars most recently some very unique Chinese brand models with outstanding quality. I put a link in the description below. Here's a car by Salido, another French company that you might not know based about, about uh, 40 miles west of Paris. This is their third generation Thunderbird a personal luxury car produced by Ford. From 61 to 63, this car featured prominently in JFK's inaugural parade and shares some styling cues with the much smaller European Ford Corsair. The CMC company stands for Classic Model Cars. You need to know this is a German company that makes each scale model car a perfect replication of an actual automobile and from their USA website they say our mission is simple we want to bring to market the most accurate replication of these classic and historically significant automobiles providing anything less than that perfect scale is just not acceptable they proved it with this Bugatti type 57 which was a beauty Another Bugatti, Type 50, comes from the Rio Company in Italy. Another one with super high quality and intricate details. Just look at this. They're based in Chernobyl, Italy, on Lake Como, where George Clooney hangs out in the summertime. Now, I'll tell you right here, I don't buy cars to collect them. I buy them to make them over and restore them. But the surprise in the very nicest way with this eBay haul was that they're in such good condition I, I fear to touch them because they're already pristine. So I don't know exactly but these might end up as a future giveaway prize. What's Liverpool, England famous for? The Beatles and Dinky Toys. They were made in England from 34 to 79 at a factory on Bins Road in Liverpool. And the Triumph Dolomite was produced from 34 to 40. And all of them, except the straight eight, featured a waterfall grill, which was the unique feature on this car. This is my one and only unbranded car in this eBay haul. Made in China, it's the 1948 Ferrari 166 MM. MM comes from Mila Milia, the famous road race, which helped secure Ferrari's legendary racing status. I already had one of these, but it was missing a couple tires, so that's a better score. 
Fowler is another well-known die-cast manufacturer based in the Schwarzwald, the Black Forest in Germany, which means they're the closest to where I live in Switzerland. Originally known as a model railway maker, Fowler now features all kinds of scale cars and modeling tools and supplies. This is their Mercedes-Benz 220SE Type W111, a beautiful rendition with classic lines. And my favorite, and probably the car that caught my eye on the eBay ad, is a Corgi, the Porsche 356A Speedster. It was Porsche's first production automobile. This one was made in 1948 in Gmund, Austria, where Ferdinand Porsche built approximately 50 cars. The factory was moved to Zuffenhausen, Stuttgart, in 1950 after the war. Of the 76,000 originally produced, approximately half of them have survived. So that's my Classics Collection larger scale cars that I wanted to show you and I hope you discovered a couple of new manufacturing names popular in Europe. And if you do an eBay search like I do, I guess you can find the same things that I do online. And I want to close with an early Christmas gift that I just received. This is a special feature. It's an advent calendar from my wonderful wife. And you've got an advent calendar. Everybody does. You know, you open the little door and you find a chocolate. You do this every day in the Christmas advent season. This one comes from Porsche. And it's got some unique features. My wife knows I'm a Porsche man, of course, so what a thoughtful early Christmas gift. I open it up and there's this high quality glossy magazine and it's written in German and in English. Features very interesting information about the mark and the manufacturing, engine upgrades, racing victories, famous drivers, etc. And on each page there are instructions on how to build a little die cast. There's the king of cool himself, Mr. Porsche, Steve McQueen. What a great idea. Now instead of opening a little door, you open a box in this advent calendar and each box is numbered. Interesting photos from the racing numbers on their cars. And inside all of the boxes is one piece for a Porsche 911. This is the base with a little speaker. You actually get to hear the engine revving when this is all done. And so that's Advent Day number one. And I search for number two. All right, you hold it up and rattle it and you guess. And I'm like a little boy opening these up now. No chocolates. These are just the rubber feet that go on the bottom of the base. Okay, well my interest is peaked here. And I'll just put these off to the side. And I'm only going to show you the first couple of these. Number three. They're all unique. Every one of them is different. And when I pop this open, I find a couple of looks like fridge magnets but this will be part of the little base diorama display okay and number four is as far as I go because this was done on the 4th of December and there is a rule that you cannot go past the actual date no matter if you're five years old or 59 years old Here's the base of the model. You and I both have the idea of what's coming now. There will be dashboards and steering wheels and probably some decals and bodies and windshields just like your regular die cast. And I promise to finish this build and I'll post it up on my channel probably right after Christmas. 
And I want to thank you for joining me today for this classic car display and my advent calendar. Come on back real soon to see the finished product, won't you? It's coffee time. Thank you.